My father died in a madhouse. Like all of us, he was surrounded by a circle of acquaintances whom he called friends for the sake of convenience. And there were a lot of scoundrels, of course, as most people are. He had to have some society, however, as he couldn't sit all alone. As you know, no one tells people what he thinks of them under in ordinary circumstances. And my father didn't do so either. He knew they were false, and knew the full extent of their perfidy. But being a wise man and well brought up, he remained always polite. One day he gave a big party. It was in the evening, naturally, and he was tired out by a hard day's work. And the strains of keeping his thoughts to himself while talking a lot of damned rot to his guests, well, while they were still at the table, he rapped for silence, raised his glass, and began to speak. Then something loosed the trigger, and in a long speech he stripped the whole company naked, one by one, telling them all he knew about their treachery. At last, when utterly tired out, he sat down on the table itself and told them all to go to hell. I was present. I shall never forget what happened after that. My parents had a fight. The guests rushed for the doors. My father was taken to a madhouse, where he died. To keep silent too long is like letting water stagnate so that it rots. That's what happened in this house. There is something rotten here. And yet I thought it paradise itself when I saw you into here for the first time. It was a Sunday morning, and I stood gazing into these rooms. Here I saw a colonel who was no colonel, and a generous benefactor who was a robber, and had to hang himself. I saw a mummy who was not a mummy, and a maiden. Where is beauty to be found? Where do we find honor, and faith, and fairy tales, and childish fancies? Where can I find anything that keeps its promise? Only in my own imagination. No flowers have poisoned me. And now I'm squirting that poison back at you. I asked you to become my wife in a home full of poetry and song and music. To think that the most beautiful flower of all can be so poisonous. That it can be more poisonous than any other. It must be a curse on all creation and on life itself. They say that Jesus Christ descended into hell. It refers mere, merely to his wanderings on this earth, his descent into that madhouse, that jail, that morgue, the earth. <laughs>